SBT Lightning continues its reign as one of the world's best performing production trucks. SBT Lightning, built for tough. With its 380 horsepower and crushing 450 foot-pounds torque, Lightning takes on all comers. Lightning offers sports car performance, everyday comfort and drivability, and real truck capability. An unbeatable combination. Well, welcome to Phoenix, and by now you're clearly aware of the SBT invasion of Phoenix as illustrated by the SVT vehicles behind me. Specific to this tape, I want to share with you the SVT F-150 Lightning. To that end, I should introduce myself. My name is Rick Titus. I'm the host of a, an automotive radio program, but probably better known to most of you as a, as a longtime automotive journalist, having served at both Motor Trend, Popular Mechanics, Mustang, and Fast Forwards, and, well, a number of vertical niche books specific to that market. I've also worked for a number of years now, in fact, approaching nine, at training your sales consultants at just about every new product launch over that last period of time. To that end, I'm pretty excited to represent SVT, finally. It's taken a while, despite the fact that I have friends in that division, because I am an enthusiast. I am a former Ford racer, been around the business a long time, so anxious to share well, the balance between enthusiast magazines, enthusiast products, and how we're going to communicate that information to the end end, the consumer. Let me kind of ramp up right with the hallmark of all things SAT, and that, of course, is their mantra, and they are very serious about this, that, that really it should be about performance, substance, exclusivity, and value. They actually mean that stuff, and beyond that, it's specific to the market, and boy, I'll tell you what, talk about a well-informed marketplace, there are now a number of sport book and, and, and performance books dedicated to the truck marketplace, and kind of shocks me coming from what was used to be traditionally referred to as the, the big four, again, Motor Trend in particular, and even Popular Mechanics to some degree with regard to the automotive market. Now we see these very successful niche magazines, and this whole niche, a luxury sports performance pickup truck, is, is no different than the rest. They want to know about the marketplace. They want an independent third-party source telling what they think of the different vehicles on the market. And it's interesting to see how, how well SVT has worked with these specific enthusiast magazines. To, to get them to understand the products. Now, I told you up front the hallmark of SVT. Beyond that, if you look at their internal publications, their own print material, they've got a very, what I think is interesting list of, of specific attributes or criteria that's really behind the design of all the products, those that you'll, you'll see beyond the Lightning today as you get into Focus and Cobra as well. This list is pretty interesting. Obviously, fun to drive. That will probably make just about everybody's list. Accomplishing it, not as easy as it is to write. Balanced integrated vehicle attributes. Of, of all the things I'm about to say to you, I think that's one of the most important mixes. As, as, as a, an automotive journalist, as an enthusiast, I go to a lot of press introductions. I drive a lot of aftermarket tuner vehicles. And I'll tell you what, this word balanced and integrated didn't make it. Yeah, the hardware's there, but it isn't always just about the hardware. It's how that hardware works together. And it's how somebody on the team understands the importance of driving these vehicles in today's world on today's roads significant, not just stickers, but significant power and performance increases, improved handling, and, and this is a key one, and I kind of touch on it, the importance of being able to drive in the real world, improved handling, but not at the compromise of ride quality and everyday drivability, communicative responsive steering. I got to tell you what, if, if, if there's anything that I could get tattooed on me, it's, it, I think the importance of getting information through the steering wheel and, and knowing that that wheel is linear to my inputs. A key issue, so glad to see that's on their, their, their list of top things that have to be accomplished. Exceptional high speed stability, again, tends to be overlooked by a lot of people. Hey, it feels good at 50. Yeah, how's it feel at 75? You'd be amazed how the wrong hardware mix can really compromise that balance and stability. World class brakes, man, am I excited to see that on the list. 
Uh, again, we've all been through that cycle. If you've been with Ford Motor Company very long, where Ford's did not have the world's greatest brakes, I tell you what, we got products in this lineup, Focus in particular, that redefine the term world-class brakes. You know, with today's tires and, and today's engines, isn't it neat to know that we've got today's brakes in them? Refine primary controls. If there's anything the automotive cult, uh, well, connoisseur, connoisseur uh, enthusiast, the person who has well, high-grade taste and what they want in their performance exclusive vehicle, they want it to communicate with them to reaffirm that it is a sophisticated vehicle. And I'll tell you, the way the pedals operate, the way the shifter operates, and how the steering feels, this is the day-to-day -day message. This is a message that repeats over and over again, you bought the right vehicle. Yes, it is refined. Yes, it is a balance of hardware. And pedals, I'm going to get into that more. I've got to tell you what, key role in the, in, in the communication and control of a vehicle. Of course, high standard feature content, that makes nothing but sense. We're dealing with in every one of the segments we compete in. Cobra and Mustang, certainly Lightning and Pickup Truck and Focus, every one of those are going to be a, a customer at the higher end of those market segments. Why not give them exactly what they expect on the vehicle? Don't checkbox them to death. Give them the product content right up front. Limited production. I sit through more press introductions where somebody stands in front of the room and goes, now you know, this is a limited production vehicle. We're only producing 130,000 of them this year. <laughs> somebody needs to look up the word limited. I'm pleased that SVT understands that. Always make less than the demand wants. Um, I think it's pretty important to the term exclusivity. Price advantage, I think they've just done a tremendous job. Now, th this one actually reads price advantage versus facing competition. I have a little trouble with that because, frankly, if you look at SVT products in total, I actually don't think there is any one direct competitor. They really are such standout, such specific vehicles. If you're going to try and compete with one, I'm not sure what you would go and buy as it applies to any one of our vehicles. But, again, I've always thought they say very balanced, very real in their pricing. And this is a key one, and particularly to consumers. I speak at a lot of enthusiast club meetings. I, I hear what these customers think. Yeah, I, I, I hope you understand how important it is to this consumer to know that this thing is backed by Ford Motor Company, that they can get it serviced at the dealer. Uh, this is a key advantage. I mean, there's a lot of aftermarket companies out there, and if you come back to their one store, no matter where you are in the country, they, they might actually consider working on it. So hang on to that. And of course, overall product attributes that result in strong endorsement by the enthusiast press. How smart is it? to have a promotional team, an engineering team, a product brand team that understands the importance that, that this third party source, this trusted third party source, whether it's car books, car shows, car radio shows, these are the people who communicate to our audience. Make sure that we've, we, we put into product content and product design the attributes they're looking about and looking for that they'll communicate on our behalf to this customer because they're trusted. So it was smart to go after it. Well, you obviously can see what I'm standing next to. Of course, that's the SVT F-150 Lightning. What a package. You think this thing doesn't stop traffic? Again, I've said it before. No one, no one, I think, from the enthusiast market ever dreamed 10, 15, 20 years ago that guess what? Trucks would actually be a sport luxury vehicle. And people would actually look at these things and say, hey, you know, they can handle. They can stop. They can go. They can look cool. And frankly, they can be packaged to be comfortable as well. To that end, of course, the key issue would be the motor. This is the Triton Engine Series family, which I'm very excited about because it's so reliable. By the way, typical of Phoenix, you can hear some drag cars practicing in the background. As it turns out in this case, John Ford's Funny Cars Mustang. So uh, it's all in the Ford family when you work at Phoenix. That said, Triton motor, 5.4 liter, single overhead cam. It's a two valve version, cast iron block, bulletproof. Good, because we're going to ask a lot of it in terms of horsepower. Of course, alloy heads, which we certainly like from that standpoint. Supercharged. If you've been around the car business a long time, you know superchargers have made a bit of a comeback. You know, turbos became the hot thing, and boy, hot was the right word. Supercharging now becomes so efficient, so effective. Uh, good to actually see it come back and be so effectively used. Supercharged and intercooled, and I'd like to expand on that a bit. Basically, superchargers want to make the, the, the oxygen charge very hot because they're compressing molecules. Let me give you an example. I'm going to walk you over here, show you a cutaway of a supercharger. Of course, you know this, or I suspect you know this. This is an Eaton unit. It's referred to as a root style charger. It has long impellers, two of them. It takes air and presses those molecules together. That's the good news. We can take a lot of air, condense it to a small area. The problem is when you do that, as you remember from basic science in high school, now you're making those molecules very hot. Well, now we lose some performance. Certainly it's not a linear wash, but why not go the extra step, go the extra mile, and go ahead and put an intercooler under here. We're talking about using an air to water, essentially what looks like a little radiator. It sits between the, the supercharger sitting up here and the intake manifold as the charge is sent to the, to the cylinders. And its job is to take from its own private water source 
and actually run water through it to cool these nice hot molecules so now they want to expand again. Well, perfect. They want to expand as they get to the combustion chamber. It only improves the, the efficiency and the power from each of that firing. How much power? 380 horsepower. That's at 4,750 RPM. 380 horsepower. Boy, we're waiting for this number. You talk about drivability. How about 450 foot-pounds of torque at 3,250 RPM? I mean, right there at the bottom of the tachometer, all this twisting grunt. Talk about a vehicle that wants to leave and leave town now. I think the supercharger and the intercool, intercooler key to that role. Of course, the 4R100 is the transmission of choice in this application, and that box only gets better and better and better. You've been around it. It's a fairly new gearbox for Ford Motor Company, but an important automatic. Unique headlamps for SVT in, in the case of the Lightning. Unique grille all unique front fascia. Of course, that transitions into the rocker sills, and I'm a fan of this, not just cosmetically, but I like what it does. An 18-inch wheel package, wheel and tire package. These are Goodyear Eagle Formula One F1s are referred to. This is a two, 295 series tire. Um, what would be the clinical definition? Oh, way huge tire might be another way to put it. Anytime you go 18 inch at a 295, 45 Z speed rated tire, um, well, you've got a hunk of rubber on the road, which certainly contributes to the vehicle. You've got a little over 12 inch front, well, fully vented rotor, standard ABS. I should add a fully vented brake rotor or disc in the rear as well. Now, most of you know the vehicles are lowered beyond that unique and specific spring rate. We also go to Bilstein shocks on all four corners. Very important. A lot of people want to give you a spring and don't, well, don't refine the, the dampener or the shock absorber as it's often referred to. Huge mistake. And we'll talk about that more in subsequent SVT tapes. Front stabilizer bar in our brochures, no matter what products we're talking about, we call them stabilizer bars because they inherently make the body more stable. Again, a fully ABS equipped four wheel disc brake. We've got something unique to pickup trucks. We've got a stabilizer bar in the rear. That one happens to be about 23 millimeter. And of course, beyond the unique exhaust tips, and it's a tune length exhaust dual system for this thing on the exhale side. We also have very unique interior features, including, well, SVT door panels, SVT gauges, and of course the, the seat and fabric finish and the mats as well. In short, the whole package is there. It's not just a, a hardware list of stuff. It's stuff that's all integrated to work together. This is an exciting vehicle, and these buyers are informed. So know the products, know what the hardware means, and be able to articulate how that hardware all works together to give them a real value story.